Now we can all do with some simplifying of the life. So we're gonna look at some awesome hacks today that are meant to simplify your life. I could definitely do with some simplifying. Let's go. Grow roses from cuttings. Is that a rose in a potato? Wait, you're telling me that I can grow my roses in potatoes. Here's a great tip for growing roses from cuttings. Before planting, push the bottom ends of the cuttings into a small potatoes. Moisture and nutrients in the potatoes will allow the cuttings to develop healthy roots. <gasps> I don't know about you, but I kind of want to try this one. Mmm, potatoes. I mean, those potatoes are very, very tempting to like eat. <laughs> you can have some rose flavored potatoes, okay? Waterproof shoes. I don't know about you guys, but am I seeing a honeycomb with bees, not shoes? Is this the correct picture? Hello, bright side of you stuffed us up. Um, they are some funky looking shoes. To turn your canvas shoes into waterproof ones, you need, oh, bees works. Okay, this is where the bees come into it, my bad. I'm just a little impatient, you know. Turn your canvas shoes into waterproof ones. You need nothing but beeswax and a blows, blo blow dryer. Spread beeswax all over your shoes. Next, use a blow dryer to melt the beeswax until you lo 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 no longer see it. Wouldn't that be a little bit yellow, a little bit gooey, and like, you know when, like, I feel like if you walked with beeswax on, wouldn't that, like, things just come up and want to eat your shoes? Like, <laughs> honey. Oh, pantyhose. Dry your clothes faster. That is exactly the kind of underwear that I like to wear. If you don't have a dryer and need to dry your clothes quickly, here's what you can do. Place your wet clothing on a dry towel. Roll the towel and the garment inside. Pick it up. Twist it tightly as possible squeeze the excess water and you've drained i don't know about you guys but there's also a magical device called a dryer smelly shoes if you have bad smelling shoes place a few dry tea bags inside each shoe to <gasps> what a waste of tea bags place a few dry tea bags inside each shoe to absorb the smell if your shoes are not just smelly but also wet i don't know what kind of feet you guys have i hope they're not smelly and wet <laughs> Fill them with a mixture of rice and baking soda. What? Rice and baking soda? You know what? We can just have a tea flavored rice and baking soda cake at the end of how many days? A few days. So let's say we put it in there for three days. There's a lot of moisture in your shoe. You know, you could have a lot of moisture in there. You might just be able to have a nice cooked meal at the end of that. Three days later, all the rice is gonna soak up all that moisture in your shoes and then you can serve it up to your worst enemy. Yummy. Tight shoe. If your new shoes feel too tight, here's a way to stretch them. Stuff each shoe with wet newspaper as tightly as you can. Let the shoes dry and then remove the newspaper. Paper. That's very weird. <laughs> Start a fire. Mm. Are there Doritos on that fire? <laughs> Chips are not just a tasty snack. Fat, oil, and chemicals. Oof. And potato or other chips make them a perfect fire. Well, okay, so now you're trying to tell me I have a fire causing hazard material in my house. Do you reckon um, by eating the chips makes you become more flammable? <laughs> like, um, hello? Interesting science experiment. I would just eat some chips and set myself alight and see if it makes a difference. Find small lost items. Wait, what? Use your vacuum cleaner to find teeny items you've lost, such as earrings. Just cover the end of the vacuum cleaner with stocking of pantyhose and start your search. <gasps> this one's genius. Check from time to time to see if object looking ready. Oh, that's so smart. I don't want to tell you guys how many times I have sucked up earrings. All right, I go through earrings nearly as bad as I go through bobby pins. <laughs> oh, if you're a girl, you can relate. Time marked a water bottle. <gasps> Wait, what's in her water? Are they ice flakes? They're very funky looking ice flakes. Be strong. You never know who you're inspiring. You're inspiring someone by drinking that water, girl. 8 a.m. Well, okay. Well, this is an issue because I don't wake up until like 12. That's a lie. I wake up at like 11. Uh, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. That is actually really cool. But you know what could be a very cheap DIY? Buying a bottle and marking it yourself because I bet you that bottle would be like $30. Here's a great way to keep track of daily water intake. Draw lines on the water bottle with a marker pen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's telling you to DIY it yourself. That's freaking cool. I want to do that. Remove toilet bowl stains. Pour a can of Coca-Cola in the toilet bowl and let it dry sit overnight, then wash it with soapy water. Oh my god, actually, I don't know if you guys know, but Coca-Cola is used in crime scenes to get up blood. It is so acidic um, that that's what they use to like scrub blood off of crime scenes. So next time you're drinking Coke, just uh, keep in the back of your mind that if you ever get murdered, it's probably Coke that they're going to use to clean up your body. <laughs> Unclog drains easily. Is this 
caustic soda. Run hot water down the drain for a minute, then sprinkle one cup of baking soda down the drain. Slowly pour one cup of vinegar down, flush one more time with boiling hot water. Oh, clean the shower head. Wait, how does your shower head even get dirty? Doesn't what? To clean your shower head bathroom for fill a plastic bag with white vinegar and secure. Wouldn't it just come out stinking of vinegar next time you like having a shower? I know you're coming out smelling like salt and vinegar chips, mm, but I do like my salt and vinegar chips. Allow it to soak in vinegar overnight and remove the bag as well as good as new. Wow. Keep buttons from falling off. Are you telling me she super glues her buttons? <laughs> You know, just buy some better high quality clothes, huh? To keep your buttons in place, simply paint a bit of clear nail polish over the... Oh, clear nail polish. Over the threads. Interesting. Body odor. I mean, who needs deodorant when you can just get an orange? If you forgot to put on deodorant and you don't want to smell like you've been at the gym, cut a fresh lemon or orange into two halves and just rub it on your skin. The body odor will disappear. Well, I don't know about you guys, but there is a couple people I would love to like. Not just a couple pieces. Lather. Lather in lemon. You body odor people. I want to lather you in lemon. Amplify your phone speakers. Oh my god, I've actually discovered this. Also, if you hold your hand like this, it will amplify it. I don't know why, but it definitely works. This will sound extremely tinny though. And is that an old school Nokia? Oh! <gasps> A moment of silence for all these Nokias. I don't know. What are they even done with Nokias? Like, they're indestructible. Where have they gone? That's what I want to know. Put your phone in a drink glass or bottle. Boost the volume of the speakers. Hell yeah. We don't need to invest in speakers. We're broke, but we have cups. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Honestly, it'd probably sound better than some of those cheap speakers you buy. <laughs> Make ice last longer in a cooler. When you go to the beach, take your cooler with you. Sprinkle salt on the ice so it stays... Salt. Oh, okay. I knew salt was a preservative, but not of like ice. Fresh breath. Oh yes, eat that apple, girl. If you left home and forgot to brush your teeth, you ran out of toothpaste, chewing an apple can help with bad breath. Well, I've learned today, I don't need deodorant anymore. I don't need toothpaste. I just need an apple and some citrus fruits. I want to test this out. Just keep doing it until someone's like, does anyone smell that? <laughs> citrus candles. Oh my god, there's a lot of citrus going on recently. Do you want your house to smell good for hours? Make an orange or a lemon a candle. And its light aroma will last a long time. Ooh. Open a stuck lid. Oh my god, is this where you get the knife under the bottom? And then you like, <clears throat> like a Hulk. Like just, I'm really good at it. You probably heard numerous ways to open a stubborn jar lid. One of the most well-known and effective methods, maybe it's the tea towel, is to remove the lid duct tape. But here's what you do. You don't have duct tape on hand. Try running hot water. Okay, well, everyone knows this one. But uh, I still think the butter knife under the lid is the... Mm, never fails. Wooden spoon trick. This is an old trick, but it never fails. To keep the pot from boiling over, put a wooden spoon over the top of it. If it starts to boil too high, the spoon will pop the bubbles... I'm gonna like link this to my mum. Every time she'll put potatoes or something like to make mash. She's like, can you just scream when it's like over, like flowing or boiling? Um, sweetie, you don't even need me. Just put a spoon over that, okay? Open a SIM card uh, tray when the, uh, okay. Do you know what's even easier? The back of your earrings, all right? Just put, I do it all the time. I'll pull out my earring, open the thing and put it back in. I kind of get a feeling a paper clip's too thick. You definitely want to be using a pin or an earring. Is that the end? That wasn't even enough hacks. I want more life hacks. All right, some of these I already knew. I already knew about the jar. And I had a better method. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you've learned something a little bit interesting out of this. Because I think I learned a couple things, actually. Um, but I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!